What's happening Earthlings? This is Dan here with yet another video for shootandrag.com and today I'm going to be showing you a little trick that is going to save you tons of editing time while editing your audio in your DAW. I'm talking about voiceovers. You know the thing is, even the best of us make mistakes while reading a script. We can get stuck on certain words, mispronounce some words or even skip lines in sentences. With more and more practice, you learn to deliver your lines perfectly the first time, but no matter how much you practice, you are always prone to making mistakes while reading your script. And when it comes to newbies, they usually start recording a script and every time they make a mistake, they repeat the correct form of the sentence or phrase and continue recording. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but it takes a lot of time to remove those mistakes from the recorded audio and you have to play back the entire recorded audio to listen to those mistakes and remove them one by one. And this can be very painful in long form narration, for example, audiobooks. Now, I'm going to be showing you a little trick that is going to save you tons of editing time. And you don't have to play back the entire audio to locate the mistakes and remove them. So, I'm first going to read a piece of text and I'm going to make some mistakes in them. And then I'm going to show you how I remove my mistakes from my recorded audio. And uh, that's going to help you understand how you can easily save a ton of time while trying to remove your mistakes. So let's go ahead and let's start reading the script with some mistakes in them. And then I'm going to show you how I remove them. This inspiring tale provides a step-by-step -step approach to living with greater courage, balance, abundance and joy. A wonderfully crafted fable, the monk who sold his Ferrari, tells the extraordinary story of Julian Mantali. Julian Mantle, a lawyer enforced to confront the spiritual crisis of his out-of-balance life. On a life-changing odyssey to an ancient culture, on a life-changing odyssey to an ancient culture, he discovers powerful, wise and practical lessons that teach us to develop joyful thoughts, follow our life's missions and calling, cultivate self-discipline and act courageously, value time as our most important community, commodity, nourish our relationships and live life fully one day at a time. Okay, so that was my trick. Every time I made a mistake, I snapped my fingers to create a high-frequency noise that creates very tall graphs in my recording timeline. I usually prefer to snap my fingers twice because that creates two tall lines, one beside the other in my recording timeline. And when I have finished recording, all I have to do is just visually locate the tall lines, which are basically my mistake markers, in my entire recording and remove the piece of text right before the tall lines, along with the lines themselves. I don't have to listen back to the entire recording to find out my mistakes and remove them. I just need to locate the markers and remove the piece of text right before the markers. Let me show you how to remove them very easily. Alright, this is the recording. So what I'm going to do is, I can easily see these visual markers. These are the tall lines. Uh, that's where I made the mistakes. So I'm just going to locate these lines and then I'm going to remove the preceding text along with the lines themselves. So this is the first one here. So uh, let's uh, listen back to this. Let me play this. Julian Mantle. So that's the name Julian. And I'm thinking this is the area that I need to remove. Mentally. Okay, so I'm just going to take this piece of text from here and remove the entire chunk of it. Maybe make this. There you go. And then again, this line. On a life changing. On a life-changing odyssey, so this one has to go entirely. And finally, this one here. Let's play this back. Community. Commodity. That's it. So that's it. That's how easy it is. So I hope next time when you are recording your audio in front of your microphone, you won't have to break a sweat if you make a mistake. It's very easy to remove your mistake. You just have to snap your fingers every time you make a mistake. And then in post-production, you just have to locate those markers and remove the piece of text right before those markers. That's how I do it. And it's going to save you a lot of editing time. That's it for now. This is Dan here signing off and I'll see you again in my next one. Please subscribe to my channel. If you have already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit the notification icon. 
And please let me know in the comments below what's been your trick to remove your mistakes from recorded audio. I would love to learn new tricks and stuff. Thank you. I'll see you again in my next one.